while the world is focused on chasing the latest and the flashiest, we pace ourselves so we can dive deep in what really matters. We hold firm to our beliefs and refuse to be swayed. We curate the technology to enable your daily experience with the raw power necessary to be effortless and smooth. We surpass ourselves every day, showing our passion, perseverance, and potential to the world. This is POCO, focusing on innovations that truly matter. POCO
while the world is focused on chasing the latest and the flashiest, we pace ourselves so we can dive deep in what really matters. We hold firm to our beliefs and refuse to be swayed. We curate the technology to enable your daily experience with the raw power necessary to be effortless and smooth. We surpass ourselves every day, showing our passion, perseverance, and potential to the world. This is Poco, focusing on innovations that truly matter. Poco.
Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to POCO's online launch event. And thank you all for joining us on the stream. My name is Angus, and I'm the product marketing manager at POCO. Now, some of you may remember me from the POCO F2 Pro launch. I'm very excited to be here again. And we have a very, very exciting POCO phone to share with you today. But before we dive into the device today, I want to share this specific line with you guys. Everything you need, nothing you don't. This is the very core of the POCO brand, and it's also our product philosophy. All of our devices are built based on this philosophy. So the first product, the POCO F1, a device that is still being discussed till this very day, and it just hit two years old two weeks ago. Now, this was the phone that kicked off the POCO brand. It disrupted the market and really created its own space in the market. So great performance with a great price. Truly the master of speed. And then earlier this year, we came back and launched the POCO F2 Pro, the powerfully cool phone. It inherited the spirit from the first generation POCO and was a true flagship killer in 2020. At the time launched, it was one of the most affordable Snapdragon A65 phone with a true full screen display. And by following our product philosophy, once again, we were crowned an excellent all rounder. I've had a blast using this phone, really provided me the ultimate experience that I wanted. But not only the media, in the last few years, we have really been blessed by our fans. Currently, we have over 2 million fans following our POCO social media platforms. Now, that's a shocking number, considering we're only just two years old. And we hear the passion from our fans, comments very similar to what we want our fans to understand about the brand, honest pricing with great performance. So we thank our fans for their constant support, and we continue doing what we do for the fans. So we have built a strong community, a community that really loves POCO. It's like a big family. I've spoken to many fans in the past few months, and I can feel the passion from each and every one of them. And I can tell they really, really care about this brand. But that's only because we've been able to deliver standout products, products that have disrupted this market. We stood out with our flagship killers, Today, we're going to do it again, but in a different segment. Today, at POCO, at the mid-range segment, we'll be even more detailed, even more precise, by giving you exactly what you need. So we ask ourselves first, what are people looking for in a mid-range smartphone? We had to take a look at some of the other brands. Now, other brands in this market, they usually try to build an all-rounder with a price tag of 400 euros or a bit more. But they end up trying to focus one or two features only. Some may focus on camera, some may focus on battery, but mainly they aim for, for affordability, so compromises are usually made. Which end up feeling like the price tag isn't that great. So we took this as a lesson. For our device today, we have nailed each category, camera, design, performance, battery, and of course, most importantly, price. We want to disrupt the market by releasing a true all-rounder in the mid-range segment. Are you guys ready? For the very, very first time, introducing the POCO X3 NFC. Now, this is the very first X-Series phone launched from POCO Global. We're super excited and very proud to bring you this device. Now, I've been using this device for a couple of weeks now, and I can confidently say it's really, really good. So we're going to get started. The first thing we're going to talk about is exactly the design you need. Now, personally, I've actually always wanted a phone that just looks different. On many, many occasions, smartphones are starting to look very similar, and we want to make sure the X3 really, really stands out. So I'm not going to tease anymore. Let's just show the X3's design. So there it is, the POCO X3. It's got a super bold design and a standout design. So it's very eye-catching 
and we spent a lot of time and effort to make it unique, but yet premium. Now, when we dive into the deep details, we made strong efforts. The stripe design, inspired by classic racing, which is why we call it a finish line design. By having this, the Poco X3 really differentiates from other products. Now, as a fan of speed, performance, I love this design. And placed on the bottom, on the finish line design, we place a big Poco logo with a standout chroma design. We want to make a statement with this logo, proud to own Poco. This logo itself actually changes color when you tilt it in different angles. It's really cool. And when it comes to the whole back, we spent a lot of effort on designing, but we didn't slack when it actually comes to the handheld experience. With our 3D back curve design, it looks sleek, and it feels great in your hands. Shall we take a look at the colors? So first, we have the Poco X3 in shadow gray. It looks absolutely stealth at night, and it stands out during the day. For those who want a bit more of a pop color, we do have another color. We also have the cobalt blue. This is a very cool color, and it's beautiful under any lighting. I personally love this blue because it's not too dark, and it's not too bright, it's just right. So here are the two color variants we have for the Poco X3, and both color variants are inspired by racing colors. And in order to achieve this stunning colors, we almost took 10 coloring process each. Actually, let me show you. Now, I have on my left the cobalt blue, and on the right, the shadow gray. Now, if I tilt the phones in a certain angle, you should be able to see the Chroma logo design and the finish, the finish line design straight down the middle. For the Poco X3, our camera design are actually inspired by DSLRs, so it's very classy and it's very industrial feel. They're both stunning, and I can't tell you which one I love more. So let us know in the comments below which one you prefer. Now, we talked about how good it looks. Let's talk about what's on the inside. Because at the end of the day, we all know it's what really matters on the inside. Now at Poco, we believe in performance. That has always been a part of the Poco heritage. Today is no different. We're going to give you exactly the performance you need. But first, we have to identify what is it that you don't want a laggy performance, an unstable performance, a slow performance. From personal experience, and a mobile gamer myself, I can't tolerate these words. When you're in the middle of a game or switching between apps, and there's just a sudden lag or a stutter, and it happens more often than you like, it ruins the overall experience. So our first priority is to make sure none of these concerns exist. Which is why, for our solution, we're going to have an awesome processor. Global debut, the Snapdragon 732G. Now, we're very excited to work with Qualcomm on this project. Now, the 732G was able to get an Antutu 2 score over 300,000. To give you an idea of how good this score is, we compared it to the other two 700 series processors that are very popular in the mid-range market right now, the 720G and the 730G. And the X3 featuring the 732G came out on top with quite the difference. In the mid-range segment, there's very few phones that can actually compete with this score. And then we look at the scoring in detail, the CPU, GPU, and AI, and compare it to the other 700 series processor. For the CPU, we came out on top with a small difference, but the GPU, the 732G, really pulled away which tells us that this processor can handle some serious gaming, for sure. And when it comes to the AI for photo processing or virtual assistants, it beats out the competition completely. Now, let me tell you how it was able to achieve this. For the CPU, the 732G took the best of 720G and 730G and improved it even more. With the 8 nanometer process, it's power efficient and it's extra powerful with processing up to 2.3 gigahertz. And having an octa-core structure, 
two gold cores, and six silver cores, the performance is very capable for some serious workload, offering best-in-class speed. The GPU, fueled by the Adreno 61A structure, it's under the Elite Gaming series by Qualcomm, which really pushes the Poco X3's hardware and software with some selected Elite Gaming features. Now, you guys know I'm a gamer myself, and I've tweeted my setup on Twitter before. I've been gaming on the X3 for a while now. Actually, more than a while, a couple hours a day. And it really delivers great gaming performance. I love it. And when it comes to the AI processing, the X3 can reach up to 3.6 trillion operations per second. Now that's mind-blowing fast. So, when you know when you, so you know when you take a photo and you want to like, look at it in the gallery right after you take it, and it shows you that blurry image with a loading circle. With 3.6 tops, you're rarely going to see that loading circle again. So after the comparison against the 720G and the 730G, the results is clear. The Snapdragon 732G has taken the crown on being the leading 4G processor in the 700 series this year. Whether you're gaming with this GPU processing power, offering you a super smooth gaming experience, or multitasking, opening multiple apps at the same time, then switching really quickly between them, it can handle with ease. You won't need to worry about clearing your background apps so often. And with AI, when you're trying to edit an already taken photo, it will be smooth, it will be fast. So with the latest, the best 4G processor in the 700 series, you will always be fast. Now to pair with such an awesome processor, we had to also match up the RAM and ROM technology. With 6 GB of LPDDR4X and up to 128 GB of UFS 2.1. Now, if you want more storage, and I know this is a hugely demanded option, we also added expandable storage option, up to 256 GB. Now, exactly the performance you need. Is that all? Is that all there is to the Poco X3? Come on, fans. You guys should know Poco actually never stops here. Introducing Liquid Cool Technology 1.0 Plus. Now, it's almost a tradition to put liquid cool in our performance-driven phones. And you may realize it, we're actually calling it 1.0 plus. So in our first generation of liquid cool technology, we had a thin copper heat pipe that absorbs the heat. This was a revolutionary technology that was driven by POCO. And we're always looking to improve it. So for our liquid cool technology 1.0 plus, we increased the heat pipe size by 70% which allows more heat taken and cooling the device much faster. Bigger heat pipe is always better. Now, how does the structure actually work? Because we have an enlarged heat pipe placed directly above the CPU, we're able to disperse the heat straight to the midframe, which then spreads the heat even more. Then we have more, more layers of graphite covering directly behind the display, dispersing the heat generated by the screen. So with Liquid Cool Technology 1.0 Plus, the CPU temperature can be cooled up to 6 degrees compared to devices that don't have Liquid Cool Technology. So it keeps the phone very cool and sustaining that peak performance so you don't throttle in the middle of a game or hours of gaming. With the latest 4G processor, the 732G, 6 GB of RAM and up to 128 GB storage and expandable storage, along with Liquid Cool Technology 1.0 Plus, it's just really difficult to ident identify this is a mid-range set segment setup. It's just so smooth. Now, we did talk about what we don't want earlier. So what is our solution? What is exactly the performance you need giving you? It's giving you a smooth performance, a fast performance, and a sustainable performance when you need it. Exactly the performance you need. Now we talked about performance. We know that's powerful. How do we actually see all this power? Does the Poco X3 have what it takes to display all of its power and provide a great viewing experience? The simple answer is yes. We most certainly do. 
Like I said earlier on, at POCO, we deemed every part of the phone important. We put in extra efforts in display, as we know a lot of our users love gaming and watching videos on their phones. Again, we have to make sure what we're creating any, isn't any of these. A slow response display, a screen that stutters, and certainly not a small display. So what we're going to offer is a big 6.67-inch FHD Plus display. Now, that's a lot of screen. So you know it will be great when it comes to streaming videos or gaming. It's actually the same size as our flagship killer F2 Pro. Now, we do have a dot display on the X3, which features a very tiny dot in the middle. It may just be the smallest dot in the market with just 3.8 millimeter of size. We want to make sure it doesn't obstruct any viewing experience. It's really small. You will barely notice it. Now, features. <laughs> I know you guys are very excited for this, but let's take a look at something first. In 2020, refresh rate has been the hot topic in the smartphone industry. If we look at the market as a whole, there's actually only a few devices on the market that features 120 hertz. And most of them are actually flagship devices, which means they're actually priced near 1,000 euros, pricing out many who are hoping to afford this latest technology. And at Poco, we love hertz. We deem it as a very, very important feature. Personally, I love hertz. 60 FPS, 60 hertz is great, but I always want better. I need that high refresh rate to up my game. With the X3, we do have a flagship refresh rate of 120 hertz. Now, this was a crucial decision for us because we really dug deep into finding out what our fans want from our next line of phones. With 120 hertz, the screen refreshes 100% faster than 60 hertz. Let me, let me show you the difference between 60 hertz and 120 hertz. Now, as you can see, with 120 hertz, you're actually getting a much smoother scrolling. This will be easier on your eyes, so it's super useful when you're scrolling on Twitter, web browsing, or Instagram. I did not realize this difference until I switched to 120 hertz, and something just felt different. Everything just suddenly felt faster. It's awesome. I love it. But then we talked to our product team. The question we had to consider is, do we always need 120 hertz? Then we discover that actually most content on our phones these days don't support 120 hertz. So 120 hertz activated all the time, drain the performance, drain the battery, most likely. However, our 120 hertz is actually dynamic. Let me show you what I mean. So our display actually have two technology to conserve battery for you automatically. We call this a dynamic switch. It can autom automatically switch hertz based on the content you're viewing on the phone. For example, if you were watching or recording a video, it would adjust to 60 FPS. And if you're switching to a certain game, it can go up to 90 FPS for mobile gaming, high-level mobile gaming. So it gives you a smooth gaming experience, but it can actually detect even more. With 120 hertz, it can actually automatically go back up for games that supports. So this is a pretty smart feature. So that's the first feature. And the second feature is even cooler. Actually, when you're viewing a photo from the gallery or just a still image in general, it'll automatically drop down to 50 hertz. It's pretty cool because it's actually saving battery for you constantly. More optimization is always better. So the result of dynamic switch is actually all about giving you 120 hertz smooth viewing when necessary, and power efficiency when it's 90 hertz or under. This is an advanced software technology that is smart in power consumption. So we've discussed refresh rate. What about touch sampling rate? It's a super important feature for our mobile gamers out there. For the Poco X3, we do have a flagship level touch sampling rate of 240 hertz. In fact, with 240 hertz, we're one of the fastest in the market. So we're really focused on making this gaming experience as great as possible. As we know, popular games these days are shooter-based, 
or racing based. So 240 hertz, what does that mean? It actually means that we're 33% better than most flagship phones on the market right now, which is very impressive at the mid-range segment. Now to demonstrate how will this give you an advantage, we did record a comparison video between the Poco X3 and the Samsung A71, which features 120 hertz to sampling rate tested by our internal labs. Now this is going to showcase how it can give you an advantage in gaming. Let's take a look. Now in order to test this, we did put both devices under a robotic arm that touches the turbo button. Now if you look at, take a look at the X3, the difference is the turbo blue light that lights up under the car. Because our screen detects faster, you can see that turbo light comes up first. This is a small advantage, but in gaming, this is a game changer. And if we do some simple math, 120 hertz plus 240 hertz is offering you a 360 all-around smooth gaming experience. We want to make sure we take care of all of the gamers out there and optimize the best viewing and touching experience for them. Now, besides having these awesome features, of course, we took the time to get our screen certified. Now, we do have three certifications for our display. The two rather than low blue light certification to reduce damage to your eyes while maintaining quality. HDR10 for always optimizing colors for the HD content. Of course, wide vine L1 certification, so HD Netflix and Prime Video will always be available to you in HD quality. So let's sum up all the features. A big 6.67 inch dot display with a tiny punch hole. We have a smooth 120 hertz refresh rate that's flagship level, giving you a smoother experience in scrolling or gaming. Dynamic switch technology that conserves battery for you automatically. And 240 hertz to sampling rate, one of the fastest in the market. Oh, actually we did, I did forget to mention we're also Corning Gorilla Glass 5 in the front. So it's a very durable display. It can take some scratches there and here. So the solution we provided, exactly the display you need, is a fast response display. It's a smooth viewing display. And most importantly, it's a big display. Now, some of you may be questioning, with the high refresh rate, is it going to drain the battery? The simple answer is no. We definitely have the battery you need. Again, we want to identify what you don't want, an empty battery or a slow-to-charge battery. So our solution is giving you a 5,160 milliamp big battery, just over two days long-lasting on a single charge. So you won't need to worry about all the performance draining the battery. This can handle it completely. Now, I use my phone a lot, especially you know, when I'm tweeting or Instagramming. I do a lot of testing and most importantly, a lot of gaming. But yet, with this massive battery, I don't have the need to carry my power bank all the time. Now, on a single charge, you could play 10 hours of gaming or 17 hours of video playback. The X3 has enough battery to give you hours of entertainment. Binging on anything wouldn't be an issue. But at some point, you've got to charge up, right? You're going to run out of battery. We have a flagship level 33 watt fast charging, just 65 minutes to 100%. For a 5,160 milliamp battery, that's amazing. Now we're also including this 33 watt fast charger inbox. So with this, you'll be charged up in no time. Now if we look at a comparison with Samsung A71, which features a 4,500 milliamp battery and a 25 watt fast charge. That's 660 milliamp less and only 8 watt in fast charging difference. But we actually reach 100% in 65 minutes while they take 15 minutes more. To achieve that, we use a really smart charging technology. Middle, middle tap technology. In short, MMT. Now usually with no MMT, when you plug in your phone, the electric current is coming from the bottom of the battery, then charging up. This results in to charging really fast from 0 to 60%, then resistance starts to build up and the charging slows down. 
But with MMT, you have two electric currents charging at the same time, in the middle of the battery. This gives you a more consistent and faster charging. Now, you guys must know the struggle, that you got somewhere to go, and it's charged at 99%. And it's just struggling to get that one last percent. But with MMT, charging from 0 to 10%, and when you're charging at 90 to 100%, the speed is very, very similar. So with POCO X3, you don't need to worry about running out of battery. It's got two days of battery life, along with a 33-watt fast charging, offering you exactly the battery you need. Now, we would recap with three big things we talked about. First, the Snapdragon 732G, the 120 hertz dot display, and a massive 5,160 milliamp battery. These three key features really makes up exactly the gaming you need. But that's not all. When it comes to having a complete gaming experience, we have more. The small details that completes the whole package. The Z-axis linear motor, which is a flagship level haptic. It's super responsive when you're gaming and giving you that ultimate feel experience. Now, it's actually not common to have such a great haptic in a mid-range phone, but we felt that it's necessary. Imagine how many clicks you do per day. So we had to make sure this feedback has to feel amazing. Not only that, we also have another feature, which is rarely seen in the mid-range segment. We have a dual stereo speaker set up on the POCO X3. So you know when your earphone starts to hurt, after a long period of usage, especially when you're gaming, trying to listen to those footsteps, you can still enjoy an immersive audio experience with these dual, dual stereo speakers. It has two large sound cavity plates on the top and the bottom, so it'll give you an immersive sound and great sound quality. Now, we also made this really awesome video where we use the self-cleaning speaker function to blow dust out of the speakers. Now, I do recommend our users to use this once in a while because dust somehow do get into the phone. So let's check it out. Now, with just one click in settings, your speakers can clean itself. That's an awesome, awesome feature. Now, on the software side, we do have Game Turbo 3.0 that has even more gaming optimizations for you, such as performance mode, pushing the maximum performance of the X3 to what you're playing. Network optimization, so it will choose the best network between Wi-Fi and 4G connectivity. And sound quality optimization is very important for games like FPS games. So PUBG, you don't want to miss a step. And a really fun feature, honestly to me is a pretty funny feature, it's a voice changer. This can change your voice completely, so you can trick your opponents, or troll your friends. So to sum up, the x gaming feature, it's got the latest processor from Qualcomm, and as we know it, it's great for gaming. Liquid Cool Technology 1.0 Plus to make sure you have a sustainable peak performance. 120 hertz refresh rate and a 240 hertz touch sampling rate for fast response gaming viewing and touch experience. The Z-axis linear motor, stereo speakers, Game Turbo 3.0, to really enhance the details for our overall gaming experience. Powering all that is the 5,160 milliamp battery that supports a 33-watt 33 33 fast charge. We do have something else to show you as well. It's awesome news, and I can't wait. A partnership with Black Shark. Now, we're super excited for this. They have some really awesome products that can really enhance the whole gaming experience. So we're going to show it to you. They have two products today. Introducing the Black Shark Fun Cooler and the Fun Cooler Pro. Now, with the Black Shark Fun Cooler, you can always maintain a cool temperature no matter what. It's one clip onto the back of the phone, and it'll cool instantly. For the Pro version, it can drop 18 degrees in one minute. And the normal version, 15 degrees in one minute. Now, it does have a very compact design, but, you, but it, just looks, it just looks awesome. How can you not love it? RGB lights is what the gamer needs, for sure. 
Now we're going to move on to camera. Now I'm pretty excited for this one because we also have an amazing flagship level feature. The Poco X3 features a flagship level quad camera. Now, yes, I know we've seen a lot of quad cameras this year, but at the mid range, it's still not the common choice. A 64 megapixel main sensor, 119 megapixel, uh, 119 angle ultra wide, a macro camera, and a depth sensor. And now for our 64 megapixel, we use a main sensor of, from Sony IMX682. This has a huge sensor size and 1.6 microns 4 in 1 super pixel. So, what does that mean? You're going to be able to produce amazing image quality with precise colors and rich details. Let's, let me show you some shots that's taken by this lens. So, for the 64 megapixel, this specific shot was actually taken by one of my colleagues in Malaysia. And he just sent this over just two days ago. And I thought it was just absolutely beautiful. It's ultra clear with sharp details. Even when the photo has a lot to process, it doesn't miss any details. So it's great when you just want to take a scenery shot. Then we have a 13 megapixel ultra wide that can capture up to 119 degree. Now, this is one of my favorite photos of the bunch. We captured so much here and was able to get the circle in the middle to look smaller than it actually was. We actually thought of trying to capture the photo without having that massive crane, but I thought it looks pretty natural. It's wide and it's still beautiful. And macro lens, a lens that I believe people just don't use enough, is such a cool feature. We want to shoot something that you could potentially find at home, or maybe something just naturally not that pleasing at first, but when you look close, it can be super cool. So we took a shot of the cock structure, and it just looks magnificent. And for the depth sensor, for portrait mode, the details on this image, the blurred background, is just right. It's perfectly cut for all the right details, and it's just very on point. To showcase the personality of what you're taking, this is a great mode for it. Now, we do know in the year of 2020, people haven't been able to travel a lot, mostly spending time at home or at the office. So we want to show some very easy to use and very cool features for you to turn your everyday content to extraordinary content. So for the first feature, I named it Poco Stays Classy with Gold. Let me show you what this means. For example, we take this awesome shot like this, already very nicely taken, just right in the middle of the city of Chicago, US. We capture a lot of the lights, but we want to make it even more rich, give it a theme, so for our new filter, Go Vibes Mode, it's honestly, it's just so awesome. I feel like this could be a scene out of The Great Gatsby. The AI processing and the details is just top notch right here. But not only night shots, you can also try out the day shots. It just needs a little bit of shadow, a little bit of contrast, and you can make it very classy. Honestly, a very, very cool filter. But besides staying classy, at Poco, we must also look towards what the future might look like. So for our next filter, we, again, we take this pretty cool shot of Japan urban life at night and change it to a cyberpunk mode. Now, this adds a very sci-fi feel for your pictures, enhancing the night shots with neon effects. You guys must try this. This is my favorite filter. And actually, forgive me if you see a lot of, these, a lot of pictures in the next coming months using this filter on my Twitter feed. Another very cool feature we have is AI Skyscaping 3.0. Now, we made some major improvements, and there's something special about this version. You can actually turn any of your day shots, got, uh, day shots into nighttime with special effects. Let's take a look. Now, you could change to the northern lights or the starry night. We have even more options. With AI Skyscaping 3.0, we will let you explore your creativity. And lastly, we also have kaleidoscope mode on the Poco X3. And it's just a really easy and fun video mode to use. In this specific video, we only use architecture and buildings. Just something simple to make it look really, really cool. Let's take a look.
As always, tag us, shot on Poco, when you get your X3. Take your beautiful shots. We'd love to see it. So let's sum it up. Exactly the camera you need. Not only we have a flagship level quad camera, we also made sure we added features that can really take your content and give it a different feel. We believe with so many features, you're going to have a lot of fun playing around with the X3's camera. So we've gone through some very exciting features, but that's not all. There are still a few more details that really completes the X3 experience, giving you exactly the experience you need. Some essential features, IR blaster, NFC, and headphone jack. We incorporate these three key features because till this day, we believe it enhances our users' life on a daily basis. Now, personally, I didn't know how important IR Blaster was until recently I started to use to control every home electronics. It's just it's mind-blowingly easy. Then we also added a fingerprint sensor and a power button, another feature that offers a great handheld experience, along with the 3D curve back design we mentioned earlier in the presentation. And it's super fast as well for unlocking your phone. Now, we also took the extra effort to get our X3 tested by TubeSud for IP53 splash proof protection. So in case when the rain comes out nowhere, this phone will handle it with no problem. When you get your X3, you'll also get an antibacterial case in box and a screen protector that's already applied on the phone. So it's making your unboxing experience even more complete. Now on the software side of things, I believe many of you know that the MIUI 12 was launched a few months ago. For the X3, it will be running MIUI 12 for Poco and Poco Launcher 2.0 straight out of the box. It's got plenty of cool features on the OS. Now my favorite one is you can actually cast gaming or video content with just one click away, on straight through default from the OS. It's super easy, and it's awesome to use. Now, we know a lot of our fans love to keep their phones up to date, and we're constantly improving this. And we're able to make sure for the Poco X3, you will have three years of consistent updates. And I'm sure many Poco fans know the feeling of when you see the, there's a new system update, and you click on it, without any hesitation, because you know that red notification will stay there till you update. Now, the feeling of updating afterwards is just so satisfying. But not only that, for the very first time, we will have kernel sources available for our users at sales launch. Now, we know a lot of our fans want kernel sources so they can really customize the device to their fullest content. So we pushed for this and made it happen just for you. Some may say these are really small details, but we believe every one of them will enhance our users' overall experience with the X3. We want to nail down the basics to ensure you have exactly the experience you need. Now, let's take a look at the product video to sum all this up. Stay with me, fans. 
We're almost there. But let's recap everything we talked about so far. Now, each and every one of these features were really handpicked and chosen after long periods of research. And even me personally asking the fans on Twitter what matters to them. So we went over design, performance, battery, and camera, hitting each target on point. Do you guys see what's missing on this slide? Yes, the price. And I wrote exactly the price you want here. And that's a very bold statement. But we're confident. We at Poco will give you exactly the price you want. Now, we take a look at the Samsung A71 in a specs table, one of the most popular mid-range phones on the market right now. Their official retail starting price is at 379 euros. Compared to the Poco X3, we have a similarly sized display, but the X3 has a 120 hertz refresh rate with a 240 hertz test sampling rate, a new and better processor with an improved liquid cool technology 1.0 plus. Both have 64 megapixel quad camera, but then on battery, we have a bigger battery with a faster charging. So how much are we priced at? For our first option, the 6GB plus the 64 variant, we're going to start at a price of 229 euros. Isn't that shocking? That's amazing price. I constantly ask our product team, is this a price Correct, 229. Honest pricing with a great performance. But actually, we're not done. I asked them, can we be a bit more honest? So we did come out with an early bird pricing of 199 euros. Now that's a jaw-dropping price. For the higher variant, for the 6GB and 128GB option, we have a starting price of 269 euros. Now, of course, we also have an early bird price for the higher variant, and it starts at 249 euros. So that's truly amazing value. This is Poco's most aggressive pricing yet. Now, if we come back to this chart, if we take a look at our features and our specs, you can see that we beat out the Samsung A71 in a lot of categories. But what gives this even more of an impact is the fact that we start at 199 euros. That's 180 euros in difference, almost half the price. Amazing value, amazing performance. Poco X3 offers that. So here is in summary, the Poco X3 NFC edition is starting at 199 euros and 249 euros for early bird pricing in two very cool colors, offering you exactly what you need. And global availability starts tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow you can get the Poco X3. The Poco X3 will be sold on these platforms with the early bird pricing starting from September 8th. So don't miss out. And don't worry, we do have more platforms. The channel availability may vary between the markets, but we have a lot more to show you. So you can follow our official accounts in your local regions to stay up to date of when it will be available. Now, we're actually not quite done yet. We even have more deals for you today. Remember the awesome Black Shark accessories that I mentioned earlier in the presentation? For the Poco X3, paired with the Fun Cooler Pro version, no matter what variant you get, you can get the Fun Cooler Pro for just 25 euros on top of the X3 original price. Now, this deal is also limited, so make sure you go check it out before it runs out. But we're not done yet. So the early buyers that purchase the higher variant of the Poco X3, they'll also get a Black Shark Fun Cooler for free. Now, that's actually an insane deal. All the gamers out there, Mark your calendars. Don't miss out. So the Poco X3, exactly what you need. We want to thank all of our fans, media, and partners for joining us today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. It's been a blast and an absolute pleasure for me to share with you. Now stay safe, stay cool. Till next time.
while the world is focused on chasing the latest and the flashiest, we pace ourselves so we can dive deep in what really matters. We hold firm to our beliefs and refuse to be swayed. We curate the technology to enable your daily experience with the raw power necessary to be effortless and smooth. We surpass ourselves every day, showing our passion, perseverance, and potential to the world. This is Poco, focusing on innovations that truly matter. Poco.
while the world is focused on chasing the latest and the flashiest, we pace ourselves so we can dive deep in what really matters. We hold firm to our beliefs and refuse to be swayed. We curate the technology to enable your daily experience with the raw power necessary to be effortless and smooth. We surpass ourselves every day, showing our passion, perseverance, and potential to the world. This is Poco, focusing on innovations that truly matter. Poco.
while the world is focused on chasing the latest and the flashiest, we pace ourselves so we can dive deep in what really matters. We hold firm to our beliefs and refuse to be swayed. We curate the technology to enable your daily experience with the raw power necessary to be effortless and smooth. We surpass ourselves every day, showing our passion, perseverance, and potential to the world. This is Poco, focusing on innovations that truly matter. Poco.
While the world is focused on chasing the latest and the flashiest, we pace ourselves so we can dive deep in what really matters. We hold firm to our beliefs and refuse to be swayed. We curate the technology to enable your daily experience with the raw power necessary to be effortless and smooth. We surpass ourselves every day, showing our passion. Perseverance and potential to the world. This is Poco, focusing on innovations that truly matter. Poco.